Oh, I do love reading the newspaper when you come across a story that makes you good and angry. Don't you? I love getting good and angry at a story. And this one, oh, it was halfway between laughing and angry. Did you see it in the paper? Have a look at this headline. Dad's furious, holidaying stranger parks car in his driveway for days. A homeowner was left disgusted after a stranger parked their Range Rover on his driveway for days. Have a look at the picture. That's the man's driveway. <laughs> and his bins and the access to his garden is at the end there. And this is near Manchester Airport. And somebody, it's a five minute walk or something to Manchester Airport from where he is. And someone's just stuck their car there rather than pay the five days parking. Or did they? Because we don't know. We don't know if this was a person. I personally think it's one of them... Those third-rate parking companies, you know, the meet-and-greet ones that have a bad rep. I reckon it's one of them. I reckon it's one of them. And someone's done the meet-and-greet and they've handed the car over and they've just stuck it there rather than parking it in the secure car park that the person probably paid for. And I'll tell you what, they're lucky they got away with it because, uh, well, let's read on. Zacharias Haley, who lives a five-minute drive from Manchester Airport, said he waited four days for the owner of the grey car to return and pick it up. The 51-year-old man woke to find it abandoned on his driveway on Thursday, and he suspects the cheeky owner had jetted off for a holiday from nearby jets or Ryanair. How? I just went out and it was there. Then it was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On Monday morning, we woke up and it was gone. I was very angry, but I resisted doing anything to the car. Just. I definitely didn't feel all right about it. We couldn't access our garden. We couldn't take out our bins. Now, I can't say if I would or wouldn't do anything to the car because that would be irresponsible of me in a public domain like this, wouldn't it? If we were sitting in a pub as mates, I could probably go into details of the things I might or might not have done to that Range Rover if that was parked on my driveway. <laughs> but oh, 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 I'd be proper angry if that happened to me. Zacharias, a lecturer in engineering at a college, we need to know that for some reason, called the police but was told it was not a criminal offence and there's nothing they can do. What is the point of the police even existing? They don't do anything anymore, do they? If that's not a police matter, why is there's a car being dumped on his driveway? He doesn't know if it's a stolen car or an abandoned car or if it is just a holiday maker taking the piss or a private company using his driveway taking the piss. Surely that's for the police to investigate, right? And they know it's not a stolen car. Odd. There's probably more to it than he's letting on. A lady who was out the front when it was left told me the driver was wearing a high-vis jacket, so I do believe it's one of those parking companies. Yeah, I think it's more likely to be one of the parking companies than just some cheeky bloke, don't you? <laughs> Although I wouldn't put it past some people. Now, one of the best parts of this story that I found was the comments. It went mad on the comments on there. 445 comments as it stands right now. And I don't condone some of the things that are said in the comments. I want to make that very clear. I'm just reading what other people have written. I may or may not agree. That's up to me to know. I will not make that public. All right? It's an unsolicited gift. It was yours to dismantle and sell for spares. So one of the most liked comments, I can't believe the homeowner let them get away with it unscathed. It would not have got away scot-free if it had been on my drive. I would have blocked it in and demanded a substantial release fee. Yeah, to be fair, that is probably what I would have done because it's not causing any damage to anybody. I would have just parked my car behind it and blocked that bugger in and then waited for the knock on the door for who it was. That would have been interesting, wouldn't it? That would have been an interesting conversation I would have had with that person. Yeah, I would have done that. I can publicly say that... I would have parked my car on my driveway. It just so happens it would be in a manner that would block that car in. But yeah, I'm not going to read all the comments. You can go through them yourself. Some of them are quite entertaining, ranging from letting the tyres down to somebody saying I would have just drained the oil and um, no one would have known it was me. But as I say, I don't condone any of those actions. But I probably would have blocked it in. I don't think that's a criminal matter. Can I say that publicly? I think I would have blocked it in with my own car, but what would you have done? Let me know in the comments below, unless it's really bad, and I don't condone anything being really bad. But if it's funny, I'd like to hear it. But it's crazy, isn't it? Ah, oh, that just winds me up. It did make me laugh as well. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.